players know the history as Thompson is off to a very good start. Get the ball back and get this crowd into it. And here's Hayward for three. Yes! It's all the time. You get a stop, get a steal, get a long rebound, get a block shot. Great going. Chile has seen his share of air balls. He chased it down. <laughs> well, Curry will fire up again, and that one is true. And for a yeah. coach who is so invested, as Draymond Green goes strong to the hole for a throwdown. Mm -hmm. Of course, a title a couple of years ago as well. I mean, there's a lot, I'm sure, going through his mind other than the injury. What's special about great teams? There's just a vibe about him, and there's just such a, a sense of, a, a, of plays like you're making like that. They just shut the lights off with that one went in. <laughs> that was a bad offensive possession by Golden State. He was by Stephen Cullen missing then. So Rodney Hood off to a start. He was hoping to avoid. He's 0 for 3. He got Dalla from two-point range. 3 for 18 total to start this game. Meanwhile, Golden State at 9 for 16. And there's a two-pointer that goes. That's Gobert. Gobert's next evolution has got to become a better post player. Matt Barnes in the game. His first run. A deep five hard. It's a block inside, but the tip goes. Glad you could be with us, with us here tonight on TNT. Johnson and McKee, just for fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Commander, let's, let's, play, let's play good defense ah, against them. It's good coaching. Yeah, right? exactly. McGee running the floor and throws it down. This feels a lot like the closeout game for the Warriors against the Portland Trailblazers. In that game, in his brief run on the floor. Favors scores three. Ingles finds it. Now, Warriors close out those threes well. Carpon Johnson gives it up. Johnson to Favor. Exum didn't find him. And well, it's oh, goodness. Ingles. Just two points since. Look at Durant. Shifty as always. Keep an eye on Curry. He's had a great start to this game at 14. How about Durant? Keep an eye on everybody for the Warriors. Is it just a strength situation? Is it a teachable skill? As Green fires up a three on the dish. No timetable for a re return for Steve Kerr. Mike Brown, who has been in the middle of a lot of big form sparks. Log on to the NBA app for more information. Rodney Hood finally sees one go through. This is a player that the Jazz need a lot more out of. And as Curry quickly answers on the other end. Yeah, this pace def definitely favors uh, Golden State. Pachulia hits the deck. No whistle. Here's Hayward for three. So you get Hood and Hayward. Green flying down the floor on the other end. Gives it up. Here's Durant. What a pass. Great passing. Hayward passes it up. The fake. Now in. Gives it to Gobert. And that's Green. Knocks it away. Curry moving it. Curry all the way in. Easy to the rim. Steps him. Curry on him. There's a nice pass. Gobert misses again. Exum flying high for the board. Finds Hayward. Hayward. Ball fake. Gives it to Exum. Now a three. Yes! The next run's huge. Who's it going to be? Golden State or Utah Jazz? And Kevin Durant, a little turnaround fadeaway. That is unstoppable. He had to. He just bring a lot of energy for Utah. Well, let's bring in Lewis Johnson now. He's got a report on the Utah Jazz. 24 at one point, but then, of course, we saw them roar back to with an eight. So, Quinn Snyder and I walking back to the court, he said early on there were too many. Two runs, as a matter of fact, in the second quarter. Hayward misses. Gobert offensive board. Gobert! He's pretty good when he's going to put a little spin on it, right? He's like a little guy. Pachulia running the floor and he scores. It's abandoned. Uh, yeah, they've got to keep their defense up because you got guys like this continually attacking the rim. And what a shot. Utah will be in the bonus the remainder of this quarter now. Over seven and a half minutes. With a little runner in the lane. Quick release by Thompson. Misses the three. And Dion just couldn't quite run it down. Maybe 10 years ago, but not now. Durant. Oh, a silencer. Morris wanted to get that ball. He wanted he just too wasn't, badly. It's looking quite quick enough. Oh, tough pass cross court right here. Steal by Green. Giving it up for Kevin Durant. At the end of the year, he's had some great games this postseason. Three 30-point games. And now a steal. Hayward all the way in. KD's on him. And he gets it to go. Green fires. Yes. Ingles. Two out of four. Has made a three. Curry dancing oh. scores.
The first game we had, he had Rudy Gobert doing circles. <laughs> and uh, here's Mack, quick three. Hey, Selvin Mack. McGee left wide open. He'll take it and he'll hit it. Curry takes his time to get it going. Gets the switch he wants. He got favors on him. Curry dancing. Step back three is good. Steph Curry goes splash. Exum now on Curry. Comes to double team. Exum trying to get back. Green finds the open man. Iguodala hits it. Oh boy, what a pass on Diaw. Ingles all the way in. Little finger roll with the left. His strong hand. Shelvin Mack, with hesitation, and Mack gets to the rim. In this final quarter, as Exum has had a good game here tonight, all the way to the rim, he scores. The efficient, good scorer um, this year, and just an all-star. A lot of stuff to build on it for the Utah Jazz. It's played this game six of 2015. As Thompson hits another one, and a foul on the floor away from the ball as... Neto and Durant. Under four and a half to go. Exum gives it up. Go there. That was something to cheer about. Of Gordon Hayward, who has a player option at the end of the season. Will he stay? Will he go elsewhere as Curry? Try to perform at a great level for each other. That's why I see so many passes and so many extra plays for each other. And they're as talented. They're together. They're tough. And they're on a mission right now. They're trying to, they're trying to win a championship. Shoot so many threes. If they have four games where they make 18 to 22 threes, they're hard to beat. San Antonio's going to slow it down a little bit more. Kawhi Leonard, I mean, they both pose problems here for uh, the future for Golden State, but boy, I don't see either one of them beating Golden State Warriors right now. Well, it is a team on a roll, and this is a Utah team on the rise. And now we will watch and wait the decision of Gordon Hayward, a big one, maybe a franchise-changing type decision. Kevin Durant made one of those last offseason and he is part of one of the great teams that have been assembled in nba history especially if they keep on this role they've won their first eight stephen curry goes for 30